Hey everyone, today is time for a very long overdue your film suggestions video. I apologise for the length of time it's taken me. Now I do say that every film in this one I loved, so it's going to be quite a happy positive video. First one was requested by Queen Helena BC and this is Pride, which is a film about the gay activists supporting the minors. And I do have to say that this is wonderful. We have a great cast. We've got Dominic West, Bill Nye, Imelda Staunton. I think Bill Nye in this is brilliant and it's, it's a very powerful, passionate film and you're watching it kind of cheering everybody on and saying you know, you're doing the right thing, ignore all the hate and I just felt really sucked into it and I felt very emotional with it um, I think the, the I felt more about the gay pride element than I did the minors element um, I guess they kind of go hand in hand in the film but I think you can also divide them in some ways uh, and for me I just thought yeah this is brilliant and I love it and, and thank you for requesting it because it is great Aurora Whispers requested the full Monty and I probably saw this as a child. I remember my mother had the VHS but I didn't really remember it until I actually sat down to watch it. Robert Carlyle is great in this. It's probably the youngest role I've seen him in, I think. And if you've never seen the full Monty, or if you've never heard of it, basically it's about a bunch of men who are unemployed who need to find a way to make money so they start rehearsing for their own strip show because more successful strip shows in the area are raking in quite a bit and it's all about their journey learning this dance routine and about the uh, hurdles that they face and it, it, it's very funny, very entertaining. There is a more serious note to it but I think if you just watch it for entertainment value it's it's wonderful, I absolutely truly love it. Jessica Morrison requested Bridget Jones The Edge of Reason. Woohoo! Love it! Fantastic! Now I was worried, I thought that this would be not as good as the first film. I have said it before and I'll say it again, I think with comedies Usually the first film is the funniest and then after that it kind of weakens a little bit. I wouldn't say Edge of Reason was funnier than the first film but I'd say it was better. I enjoyed the story. Now we have Bridget and her Mr Darcy, uh, certain constraints in the relationship and <laughs> as is usually the case Hugh Grant's character kind of sticks his foot in things a little bit too much. Uh, but it is very entertaining and I love it and I'm completely psyched for the third film. Also, they filmed on Primrose Hill. Primrose Hill is right in the heart of my favourite part of the world, NW3, even though Primrose Hill is actually, I think, NW8. But they did like the whole Sun of Music thing and I totally need to do that the next time I go to Primrose Hill. I'm, I'm gonna do it. Two slightly scary ones now to finish off, both of which I watched on Halloween. We have Ginger Snaps, which was requested by Rossi Boy 19 Oh my goodness this film is an 18 rightly so visually it is so gruesome it's brilliant there is literally blood everywhere uh, we have two teenage girls two sisters who are obsessed, obsessed with death one of them gets bitten and she starts to turn into a, a werewolf I, I think it's a werewolf it's a bit weird and uh, basically she becomes quite savage and starts attacking people and Underlying you have this whole message about female sexuality and female sexual maturity uh, but on the surface it's just a bloodthirsty awesome, awesome film of death and gore and violence and it's great and I absolutely love it. I wasn't that scared by it, I didn't think it was scary so I'm hoping that it's an 18 because of the graphic content rather than the scariness um, but I, I loved it, it may well be one of my favourite scary films, scary. Um, and I can't wait, I will definitely watch the, the, the next film as well because it's just, it's, it's wonderful. And I love the character of Ginger, I just think there's something so gorgeous about her character and her thirst for death, she's great. And the last one is another request by Aurora Whispers, this is The Cabin in the Woods. And a lot of people have commented when I've said in videos that I don't like cliche cabin kind of haunted location teenage films. It's nothing like that and that is rightly so. A group of friends go off to an abandoned cabin and things start to turn a bit weird. That sounds cliche. The rest of it is insane. They're actually involved in a kind of reality TV game show sort of thing and that, you know, they, they learn pretty quite quickly that they are. And then there's like the sci-fi element and then there's a historical element to it with sacrifice and the gods and it's, it's actually quite funny. I mean there are times where you're watching it thinking, okay this is a bit weird and if you don't like zombies you're probably going to be freaked out. Personally I'm not that bothered about zombies. But, but when they actually get further into the reality TV show element of it and they, and they land in that hub, just literally everywhere you look there's a different mythical creature, a horror symbol and there, literally there's blood absolutely everywhere. Everywhere you look the further you go into it, just the screen might as well be painted in blood. It's that, it's that uh, 
crimson and it's fantastic I wouldn't say it's scary I didn't think it was scary but I think the mix of horror and comedy just works fantastically well in this I hope it's meant to be funny because I thought it was um yeah but absolutely brilliant five really really exciting films thank you to the people who requested those I thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed all of them as usual let me know in the comments if you have any films that you think I should check out I will add them to my list and I'll speak to you all soon bye